everybody. Today we have Dell Precision 3551. It's an Intel Core i5 10th gen laptop. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start, start with bottom screws. Okay, now we can separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Use plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your other parts. Okay, and the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we can see all internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Now we can unscrew the screws and take it out. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace your battery. Here we have the model number and the part number. Here we have our RAM memory slots. One is open. One is uh, occupied, let's spread those arms. This is how you take out the memory. That's a DDR4 memory. If it doesn't work, you can replace it or you could upgrade to the bigger one. Here we have our uh, adapter for the SIM card connection. So we can have cellular internet on the go. So disconnect the antennas and this is how you take it out. That's our card. Here we have the Wi-Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace it. Disconnect the antenna wires. And take it out. Here we have the model part number. Now let's see what's under that cover. That should be our storage. So here you could mount your additional hard drive. Here, that's just a blank in this laptop. So here we have the actual storage, that's the NVMe drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot, or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, take out this cover and that's our drive. This is how you take it out. That's the actual drive. You can upgrade it to the bigger one if you would like to. To take it out from that extension bank, unscrew, unscrew, and that's the drive. Now let's change the cooling. So if your laptop overheats or the fan doesn't spin, this is how you can fix the problem. Take out the screws. So this connector is kind of hidden a little bit under that plastic. Let's take out this plastic frame because we're gonna be pulling out the motherboard as well. So this is in our way.
We have to disconnect the speaker because the cable is rooted here. And we'll screw here. Okay, so this is how we can take out the frame. I keep the battery, the CMOS battery, with the motherboard. So that's our frame. Here we have the part number. Okay, now let's see the... Okay, so the fan is out. Here we have the part number. And now we can take off the heat sink. Be gentle, don't bend it. So here we have the part number. Now we can see our motherboard and the DC power jack. So let's start with unscrewing and disconnecting all the ribbon cables. Here we have the video cable from the screen. Disconnected. Then that's our DC power jack. It's disconnected. Now let's take out all the screws. Now we can pull out the motherboard. So we have to press it in here to disconnect that blank. Now we can put it back so we don't lose it. So that's our motherboard. The processor is soldered on the motherboard, so if it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole board. Here we have the part number. And here, that's also the part number. So here, that's our DC power jack. If your laptop is not getting the power, change this part. That's our part number. Now let's unscrew the hinges so we can separate the palm rest keyboard assembly from the screen. Now gently unfold the hinge. Okay. So that's our palm rest touchpad assembly. Usually sold in one piece, but if you need to change just the keyboard, you can do that. You have to unscrew all those screws. The touchpad is glued in the palm rest, so you cannot replace it. And yeah, here we have the part number for the keyboard. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And that's our screen left. Usual also sold in one piece. The actual LCD is very fragile and you can crack it trying to replace just the LCD. So look for the whole assembly. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.